Timing deficits in ADHD, insights from the neurons of musical rhythm, Jessica L. Slater and Matthew C. Tate. Abstract. Everyday human behavior relies upon extraordinary feats of coordination within the brain. In this perspective paper, we argue that the rich temporal structure of music provides an informative context in which to investigate how the brain coordinates its complex activities in time, and how the coordination can be disrupted. We bring insights from the neurons of musical rhythm to considerations of timing deficits in attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, highlighting the significant overlap between neural systems involved in processing musical rhythm and those implicated in ADHD. We suggest that timing deficits warrant closer investigation since they could lead to the identification of potentially informative phenotypes tied to neurobiological and genetic factors. Our novel interdisciplinary approach builds upon recent trends in both fields of research in the neurons of rhythm, an increasingly nuanced understanding of the specific contributions of neural systems to rhythm processing, and in ADHD. An increasing focus on differentiating phenotypes and identifying distinct physiological pathways associated with the disorder. Finally, we consider the impact of musical experience on rhythm processing and the potential value of musical rhythm in therapeutic interventions. Keywords: music, rhythm, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, cognitive control, motor timing, neuroplasticity, musical expertise. Introduction: music is pervasive across cultures and plays an important role in human interaction, development, and social bonding. Cross, 2001. The temporal structure of music is integral to its functions, and the experience of music relies upon the precisely timed orchestration of activity across the brain's sensory, cognitive, motor, and reward systems. Musical rhythms inspire us to move. Keller and Reja. 2009. Della bella ita. 2013. And movement can, in turn, shape our perception of rhythmic patterns. Philip Silver and Trainer, 2005, comma 2007. Music also facilitates interpersonal synchrony, increasing pro-social behavior. Cyrilli et al., 2012, 2014, and breaking down perceived barriers between self and other by coordinating shared emotional experiences. Terry et al., 2014. Several studies suggest that interaction with music promotes synchronous neural activity not only across brain regions but between the brains of individuals. For example, during music listening. Abrams et al., 2013, and improvisation. Muller et al., 2013. The rewarding qualities of music are also intrinsically linked to its temporal structure through the creation and manipulation of expectations over time. Cooper and Meyer, 1960. Semicolon Huron, 2006. Within this temporal framework, the fulfillment and violation of expectations provides a rich palette of emotional expression, mediated by the reward transmitted dopamine. Schultz, 1998. Salim Poor and Zator, 2013. The rhythmic patterns found across a range of musical styles have been shown to exhibit an optimal balance of predictability and surprise, even in their written form. Levitin et al., 2012. And the subtle timing variations found in live musical performance further contribute to the emotional expression perceived by a listener. Rep. 1995. Semicolon Palmer, 1997. Ashley, 2002. Not right, Paul. 2011. As these examples highlight, the influence of music on human experience is closely tied to its temporal structure and the coordinated neural activity it induces, both within and between individuals. The dynamic interplay between predictive, top, down, and reactive, bottom-up, processing, exemplified in how the brain responds to musical rhythm, is also a necessary foundation for cognitive functions, such as attention. Endel et al., 2001, Rachel. 2010. For example, the ability to anticipate what is likely to happen next and streamline the allocation of neural resources accordingly must be balanced with the ability to respond to unexpected salient events in the environment. In disorders such as ADHD, this balance is disrupted, resulting in impaired attentional control and difficulties inhibiting irrelevant inputs. We have chosen to consider ADHD in particular because, in addition to the core symptoms of inattention and hyperactivity and impulsivity, ADHD is also characterized by deficits in motor and perceptual timing. Smith et al., 2002. Ferial, 2012. Zelazny 2012. Demeyal, 2013. Norekayal, 2013. Recent studies have revealed a rhythm related deficit in ADHD. Ovial, 2017. Puis Jarinéal, 2017. Connor and much of the same neural infrastructure that supports the processing of musical rhythm is implicated in ADHD, from brain circuitry, Silk et al., 2009. Semicolon Lou et al., 2017, to dopamine signaling, with leading genetic risk factors for ADHD including dopamine gene variants, Swanson et al., 2000. Dino et al., 2003, Air, we propose time insight from research on musical rhythm cool of fait à mort nuance et d'understanding of timing deficit in ADHD, et une potentielle idée à de l'identification of informative phenotype, l'inquiète au neurobiological et genetic factor, de neural infrastructure of musical rhythm, inti section et alike et component of the neural infrastructure involved in processing musical rhythm, al tout is by nommé en exhaustive review, some basic definition of term met reviews of full, we use the term rhythm to refait au temporal pattern format from sequence of duration or on set, where it refait au periodic pulse, in a piece of music, de bit typically defined the basic unit of timing, and met refait au de grouping of the into a recurring pattern of stress or accent, such a wall differentiate de fait of awards vs à marche, sensory, motor integration, study with movement primate and devant the graphic have shown the neural ensemble contrainte au rythmic stimulus, quintana and fusté, 1999, Saint-Réal, 2008, and it is weekly time interaction with musical rhythm is founded du ponteuse basic contrainte de mechanisme, OEV, it is notable tas de naturel humain tendance to music, for example by tapping a photo de beat, à provence surprise and the elusive in the animal kingdom, Patel et al. 2009, imaging studies have revealed that in humans, rhythm perception is associated with activation not only in auditory cortices but in frontal, parietal and motor regions, including the supplementary motor area, SMA, basal ganglia and cerebellum, Gran and Brett, 2007, Gran. 2012, Large et al, 2015, Merchant et al, 2015. It has been suggested that the close sensory motor coupling necessary for synchronization of movement to music may be unique to vocal learning species, including parrots and songbirds, as well as humans, in which it is a necessary basis for learning and producing complex communication signals. Paddle and Iverson, 2014. Recent evidence of successful entrainment to the musical beat in non-vocal learning species, for example a California sea lion, Cook et al., 2013, have passed out on this theory. Nonetheless, it is well established that close interaction between sensory and motor systems provides a sophisticated mechanism of temporal prediction and feedback. Schroeder et al., 2010, and that this plays an important role in how humans process musical rhythm, the extensive activation of motor areas during rhythm perception, even in the absence of overt movement. Zator et al., 2007, Chen et al., 2008, Gran and Rowe, 2009, is consistent with accumulating evidence that these systems serve a broader role in temporal processing and cognition. For example, frontostriatal and frontocerebellar pathways are increasingly viewed as contributing to more general pattern detection, predictive and cognitive functions. Akshumov and Korkes, 1992. Semicolon Grabiel, 1997. Schubots, 2007. It has been proposed that striatal pathways are particularly involved in generating internal representations of beat and metrical structure. Gran and Brett, 2007. Schwartz and Cox, 2013. On the other hand, cerebellar circuits are more involved in the precise encoding of complex sequences, fast timing features and durations. Grubb et al., 2010. Semicolon Schwartz and Cox, 2013. Together, these pathways create a system that can generate complex temporal predictions while also adapting to incoming information, models of rhythm perception, in constructing computational models of rhythm perception. A major challenge is to capture not only the individual components of temporal processing that are involved, but how those mechanisms interact in real time to maintain the ongoing balance between predictive, top down, and reactive, bottom up, processing, discussed above, see Macaulay. 2010, Gran, 2012, for review. For example, several rule based models have been proposed in which the regular beat and metrical structure inferred by a rhythmic pattern maintained by an internal clock, Longwood, Higgins, and Lee, 1982. Semicolon Pobble and Essence, 1985, Dessane and Honing, 1999. However, these models do not generally account for ada
2012, models based on the entrainment of multiple oscillators have had greater success in accounting for online prediction that is tolerant to more complex rhythmic structure while remaining sensitive to natural variations in performance. Large and Colin, 1994, Large and Palmer. 2, 2, 2, 2, Indeed, there is evidence to suggest that natural, non-random patterns of timing variability, that is, those exhibiting fractal scaling and long-range correlations, may actually improve the accuracy of listeners' temporal predictions, ranking et al., 2009. 2014, and this was also demonstrated by the model, Large and Palmer, 2002, in the theory of neural resonance. Large and Snitter extend these computational models to propose that entrainment is performed in the brain by neural oscillators, Large and Snitter, 2009, and this theory is supported by evidence from imaging and ease studies, Large and Snitter, 2009, Nazaruddin et al., 2012, Tierney and Krauss, 2015. Interestingly, individual variation in the temporal characteristics of neural activity, including long range correlations, has been shown to predict variability in motor timing behavior, Linkenko Hansen et al., 2001. A recent paper also linked these temporal characteristics of neural activity to fluctuations in attention, and it was proposed that the typical increase in long-range correlations over the course of development may be delayed or disrupted in ADHD. Smith and Anapin, 2017. This represents a fascinating area for future study, and a further potential link between ADHD and the temporal dynamics of brain and behavior. Within entrainment models, different frequencies of neural oscillations serve distinct functions. For example, large and smitter suggest that bursts of high-frequency oscillatory activity facilitate coordination across motor and sensory systems. Peaks in beta, 13-30 Hz, and gamma, 30-100 Hz. Power were observed as an anticipatory response to rhythmic patterns. Smitter and large, 2005. <laughs> And persisted even when the sound stimulus stopped, supporting their role as self-sustaining timekeepers. Further, temporal modulations in beta activity were altered by the specific metrical structure imposed by the listener onto an ambiguous rhythm pattern, suggesting top-down modulation of oscillatory dynamics. Iverson et al., 2009. Given the association between beta oscillations and motor coordination, the modulation of beta power may provide another indication of the influence of motor systems on rhythm processing. Large et al., 2015. Neural responses to musical rhythm may also take the form of entrainment to specific frequencies actually present in the stimulus. For example, the frequency of the musical beat. Neural entrainment to the beat has been observed in a number of big studies in the form of increased spectral power at the frequency corresponding to the tempo of the musical beat, typically within the delta range, 1-4 hertz, and even to harmonics and subharmonics of the frequency. et al., 2012. and Krauss, 2013, 2015. Semicolon Nazaruddin, 2014. The influence of motor systems on this form of neural beat entrainment was investigated in a recent lay-in study, Nazaruddin et al., 2017. Both cerebellar and basal ganglia patients showed reduced neural activity aligned with the beat compared with controls, with cerebellar patients showing reduction specifically with faster tempo rhythms, and basal ganglia patients showing a greater deficit with complex rhythm patterns, which the authors interpreted as relying more heavily on the internal generation of a beat. These findings suggest that variation in cerebellar and striatal function, such as observed in ADHD, may be associated with distinct rhythm processing deficits. This study therefore provides compelling evidence for distinct specializations of these two motor areas in the coordination of neural entrainment to musical rhythm, linked with dissociable deficits. Parsing heterogeneity in ADHD, the search for phenotypes, ADHD is a highly prevalent and heterogeneous disorder. Despite significant research efforts, characterization of the neurobiological basis of ADHD has proven elusive. Diagnosis still relies heavily on self-report questionnaires, and treatment typically takes the form of a trial and error pharmacological approach. It has been difficult to identify biomarkers of a disorder because there has been no clear mapping between neural measures and clinical subtypes, that is, predominantly inattentive, predominantly hyperactive, impulsive, and combined type. Although ADHD is associated with structural and functional abnormalities, including within frontal, striatal, and cerebellar pathways, these findings have generally been small and have not always been replicated. See Rubia, 2016, for review. Similarly, profiles of oscillatory dynamics have not been consistent enough to provide a clear neural signature of ADHD. Eight studies reveal abnormal patterns of oscillatory activity. Bazar and Gunterkin, 2008. Et al., 2014, Lou et al., 2017. Comma including reduced power in the beta frequency range. Indeed, a clinical diagnostic device assessing the ratio between theta and beta activity was developed and approved by the FDA, USDHHS, 2013. However, a subsequent meter analysis suggested that theta-beta ratio is only elevated within a subgroup of individuals with ADHD, and is therefore not a reliable basis for diagnosis. Anz et al., 2013. A more nuanced understanding of distinct phenotypes of ADHD could help to increase diagnostic accuracy and improve the development of clinical tools to aid in the evaluation and monitoring of treatment. Research in the field is shifting toward the identification of distinct phenotypes and multiple etiologies. Castellanus and Tenet, 2002, Nick et al., 2005, Durston et al., 2011. There is evidence from neuropsychological, Rommels et al., 2008. Ferial, 2012, Nicolas Nick, 2015. Elegy Trope, Hesiologia, Bashar and Juntekin, Ikibin Sekis, Mazahiri et al. 2014, Lou et al., 2017, and Genetic Studies, 